Now let us return to the history of prime number theorem. Let's first restate the prime number theorem more rigorously. We will state it as theorem 6, as in Hardy's book. Throughout this video series, we will always use the same labeling as in Hardy's book. So the prime number theorem states that the limit as x goes to infinity of the ratio pi of x divided by x over log of x is equal to 1. Or, using the asymptotic notations we just introduced, pi of x is similar to x divided by log of x as x goes to infinity. This theorem was conjectured by Leranger and Gauss independently. Leranger formulated the approximation pi of x approximately equal to x divided by a times log of x plus b in 17 98. And in 1808, he made it more precise with a equal to 1 and b equal to a number a little bit less than 1. And a little bit earlier, Gauss took a different approach. When Gauss was only 15 or 16 years old, that was the year 1792 or 1793, this teenager observed that the density of the primes in the kiliad, namely an interval of length 1000. For example, the interval from x to x plus 1000. Gauss observed that the density of primes in such intervals will decrease approximately as 1 over log of x. And this leads to the approximation that pi of x is roughly the integral of logarithm of t from 2 to x dt. But neither the rounder or Gauss gave a rigorous proof. The first breakthrough was made by Chebyshev. In 1852, and he proved in an elementary way that now we will state this as theorem 7. Chebyshev's theorem states that pi of x is asymptotic to x divided by log of x as x goes to infinity. And more precisely, he showed that the pi of x divided by the ratio x over log of x is bounded below by b and bounded above by 6 over 5 times b, with b roughly equal to a number slightly below 1. And 6b over 5 is roughly a number slightly bigger than 1. The first actual proofs of 
prime number theorem was obtained by Hartmut and Poulsen. In 1896, but unfortunately, the proof was not elementary and actually made use of Hartmann theory of integral functions applied to the Riemann zeta function. namely zeta of s. This series is absolutely convergent when the real part of s is bigger than 1. And following this, they also use a clever application of a trigonometric identity, which we will not discuss here. And now it comes to the really amazing part. In the year 1948, a truly elementary proof of prime number theorem that only uses basic calculus involving logarithm and elementary number theory. Was discovered by Erdős and Selberg. However, there was a bitter dispute between these two famous mathematicians, which we will not talk about in this video. I would like to refer the audience to an article of Goldfield for more details of this story. And with this, I finish a brief introduction to the history of the prime number theorem. And starting from the next section, we will formally enter the elementary proof of prime number theorem, which essentially follows the spirit of the proof due to Selberg.